No. And then we got a great little story about uh, a man claiming cops knocked out uh, his poodle's teeth. Now that's <laughs> front page news. <laughs> that should have been on the front page. That would have sold papers today, right? Right. I guess this guy goes to the hospital because he's uh, insomniac and he was on uh, Ambien. And I guess he was going through withdrawals because he wasn't on the Ambien anymore. I think that's how I read the story. So he had to go to the emergency room for five hours or so. Isn't Ambien stuff that makes you sleep? Yeah. That's it, Well, right? he has insomnia. Yeah. So he needed something to fall asleep. He was on the Ambien. And I guess he was going through some kind of withdrawal from his uh, from the insomnia medication Ambien. It made him jumpy. So uh, he went into the hospital. And when he returned home late in the day after a five-hour visit to the emergency room, Weaver was shocked to find his poodles, Xavier and Fifi, <laughs> missing. Inquiries of neighbors led Weaver, a retiree, to believe that someone had let police from uh, this let police from the 72nd precinct into his home, and that officers, for some reason, had removed the dogs from the apartment. I went over to the precinct and, uh, precinct, and they lied to me. We were told the post. They said they had nothing to do with it. I went back around 11:30 at night again, and one cop said, "Oh, we took those dogs. We took them to a shelter." A frantic weaver had to wait until morning to find out through the city's 311 system where precise, precisely the dogs had been taken. Well, you won't see those dogs no more. When he was finally able to take his poodles back home, both seemed edgy and uncharacteristically aggressive. But a nastier surprise awaited when he got close to Xavier when he was lying over. I said, let me see your teeth. And I said, whoa. When I saw he wasn't chewing bones the way he normally did, I ran Sounds my like finger along the gum line, too. <laughs> and I saw that the teeth were just broken off. Oh. So he's claiming that the police knocked out his poodle's teeth. <laughs> if any dog should have its teeth knocked out, it is the poodle. <laughs> what a useless dog that is. That's terrific. <laughs> Every ant I've ever had over the years growing up, all I can remember is a poodle named Fifi or Peppy or some kind of friggin' French name running around the house, stinking the joint up. Yeah. Just getting the complete unconditional love of this old woman. Enough with the poodle. It's uh, an old lady dog. What's this guy doing? Weaver said he believes that the five broken teeth were the result of a blow from a night stick. Oof. <laughs> but he admits he can't be sure. Oh, five <laughs> broken teeth. <laughs> he thinks Xavier would have uh, showed his teeth because he's like a, dar a guard dog, even though he's a poodle. A poodle. You know, Can a poodle be a guard dog? No, no they can't. can't. What these little dogs do is they're nasty. They're nasty little dogs, and they show their teeth for anything. Used to have a, I used to have a little dog. My sister had it. I didn't have this dog. My sister had a dog named Little Tiffany Toodles. <laughs> The dog's name was Ew. Tiffany Toodles, Ew. and it was one of those Yorkshire Terriers. They're cute. They're adorable to smash against the wall. They're little, little Yorkies, and, and they, they're yappy dogs constantly. And my sister was the only one that could control this thing. If you tried to get near it, it would, it would growl at you and snap at you like it was a pit bull. Would Tiffany Toodles bite at you? Little Tiffany Toodles, and little Tiffy Toodles was such, such so crazy whenever there was a thunderstorm, the first clap of thunder, she would run into the bathtub and curl up on the drain and shake like Michael J. Fox. Tiffany Toodles is a faggot. Tiffany Toodles stunk. That's wonderful. Well, Weaver said a veterinarian <laughs> has told him that... Uh, enthusiasm there. That's wonderful. That Xavier, well, <laughs> moving on will require several uh, root canals, an expensive procedure that he said he can ill afford unless his suit bears fruit. Mm. He's already oh, bearing oh, fruit. Oh, <laughs> man. Right, 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 right. He's got a couple of poodles. Whatever happened to little Tiffany Toodles? Tiffy's dead. What happened? I hope it was some horrific death. No, I think it was just old age. Oh. I don't know. I was in California at the time or something. Maybe not. I don't remember. All I know is there was a, a fun story. Uh, one time when Joe and uh, the neighbor boy were uh, dealing in hashish, um, Tiffy got into one of the hash cubes and ate the whole thing. <laughs> and Dawn was very distressed that Tiffy was, was ill. I bet you Tiffy uh, turned into a slut. No, Tiffy just turned into a... The whole neighborhood got a, got a turn. No, it was a bag of, of dog. 
It couldn't move. It couldn't stand up. Really? It couldn't walk. It tried to walk and it would fall on its face. And it was because we were smoking the hash uh, that it ate. It was one of the funniest things you'd ever want to see is a dog that ate a whole bl brick of hash. But uh, Dawn wasn't too uh, happy about little Tiffy Toodles being drugged. Oh, God, love her. God, love little Tiffy Toodles. Yeah. I like to grab Tiffy Toodles by the neck and just punch her right in the face. <laughs> Well, someone wants to correct us on poodles. Was one of the nervous dogs too, Tiffy Toodles? <laughs> would you'd run up and go, Tiffy, and Tiffy would would freak out, roll over on her back, and just pssst all over the carpet. Pssst. Ew. Oh, she's excitable. Little Tiffy's excitable. Ugh. Size of a Nerf football. Just want to punt her. Foom! Right across the lawn. Well, let's talk to uh, Frank and Corm. Frank. Hey, to Frank. Hey, Frank. What's up, Oney? Hey. Yeah, poodles are actually pretty big. Those are big dogs. Only the toy poodles are the small ones. Oh, yeah, those big, stupid-looking poodles where they yeah, they those, shave those them. Yeah, that they groom with those little puffs. And they put the two puffs by the uh, ass of the oh, poodle. But nothing says gay like a poodle. Yeah, you got that right. And huh? they're nasty dogs too. Oh yeah, yeah, nasty. Yeah. Not to it. Not, not not if you got a nightstick. Oh, you got that right. Take a couple of teeth out, they I shut right up. That, I guarantee that dog broke its teeth trying to bite its way out of its cage. Oh, that could have happened, too. Oh, wow, Things not baby. used to being caged. All right, caged guys, animal. All right, thanks for the terrific Damn you. oral Thank knowledge. Uh, Matt, what's up? Hey, yeah, uh, I just wanted to say that, you know, poodles are are a, a owner uh, friend, you know, so they're only nasty if you're... Not their owner. But I love you, Johnny Cakes. Yeah. <laughs> He's a fag. Yeah. Oh, you like that, don't you, faggot? Matt, you love your poodle, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> do, do you go, I, give me I kisses? Personally love, I personally love the sound they make when they hit the wall as well, but <laughs> my wife does. So. You know, poodles are great at, poodles right, are great at carrying medication up the steps in their teeth. <laughs> <laughs> For their owner. <laughs> Can they balance broth on their head? <laughs> All right, let's go to Tony in Jersey. Uh, Tony, what's up? Hey, how you doing, guys? Good morning. Good hey. morning. Go fetch Daddy's robe. <laughs> Daddy's oh, I... too tired to get up. Could you get the paper? <laughs> uh, Tony, I... yes, go. Yep. Uh, I used to breed poodles, and uh, now I'm a six foot three, two hundred twelve pound guy, a big guy. Mm -hmm. And everyone used to make fun of me. I used to use my dogs. Those poodles were actually bred for hunting years ago, and they still have their hunting instincts. To take them out into the woods, have them drive deer, and they would drive the deer right to me every time. They were everyone with a poodle. Everyone with a poodle's got to justify it by saying they're the toughest things that ever walked to the face of the earth. You know, a poodle once took down a Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> yeah. Did it? They drive no. deer to you, but if you bend over, guess what they drive to you? <laughs> no, I, didn't, I didn't say they were tough dogs. I said they were intelligent dogs. Ah, oh, so they're smart, the poodle. Correct. And if you breed them right, they're not the little yappy, bite your ankle kind of dogs. My dogs never barked. They never bit anybody. What was the name of your poodle? Believe it or not, the woman used to drive the deer. Her name was Poochie. 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 See, they all get the little fruity names. Peppy. Nothing Poochie. beats Tiffy Toodles. Little Tiffany Toodles. Oh, was Little was part of it? No, I used to call it Little Tiffy Toodles. Well, that name's going to be uh, on Whack Bag with oh, minutes. Course. Tiffy Toodles. Little Tiffy Toodles. Tiffy Toodles. Check it in. All right, guys. Punch it out. Enjoy your Two day. damage. Two damage. To Tiffy Toodles. Why have you struck me? Because <laughs> I hate Tiffy Toodles. Who didn't? Tiffy Toodles would respond well when I would scratch her belly. <laughs> she would piddle. <laughs> Tiffy Toodles would spray me in the mouth and nose when I'd scratch her belly. <laughs> I used to hate Tiffy Toodles. <laughs> Stupid Tiffy Toodles. Where did she get the name from? The Dawn. She was like a dopey kid. So uh, it's pretty creative. T it, Tiffany Toodles. It's it's faggy, but it's it's creative. You know why she used to try to show these dogs? Because she also had a Bichon Frise yeah. named Rosie. And uh, so you have to give them these registered pedigree type names. And all of them have these long kind of names. You can't just call it Tiffy. It's okay. Actually, I think the name was Tiffany Toodles Ra 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 was the actual registered name. 
you got to have like a long name because there's a lot of dogs registered and they got to be different. So I'm sure there was maybe another Tiffany Toodles out there. So you got to add like rah 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 at the end. I, I got to cast this spell on you. Where's my? Bean Don't bag? hit me with a beanbag spell. What are you going to root me? <laughs> I would or is name it going to be a damaging spell. I would name my poodle William. And then just name it one more William than the most they allowed. <laughs> like, yeah. This is William, 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 William. <laughs> <laughs> just be annoying. Yeah. Seven Williams in a row. If you have a poodle, it should be named Robert Reed, Ra Ra Ra. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Robert Reed, Boo Hoo Hoo. Boo Hoo Hoo. Let's go to Andy in Jersey. <laughs> a lot of calls from Jersey today. Andy, what's hey. up? Hey, good morning, boys. Good morning, hey, man. Um, I used to work. I worked for an air conditioning and heating company, and I went out on a no heat call late at night, like one o'clock in the morning. And uh, the lady had a little poodle that attacked me as I was coming up the stairs, going out to my truck for something. So I whacked it in the head with a mag light, knocked it out. The lady was screaming at my boss, wanting me fired. But that's that. I seem to miss the point of his story. Yeah. I took two seconds away from paying attention to read something. Yeah. And I missed the entire point of his story. We'll just assume it sucked. All right. All right. That uh, story stunk.